Hi everyone. In this session, we are discussing about the orthographic projections. I am Alex Chakosi, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department with the Academy of Science and Technology. Today's topics for discussions are orthographic projections, reference and auxiliary planes, the three basic views in orthographic projection, and systems to draw the orthographic projections, and how to draw the orthographic projections. What is an orthographic projection? Here you can see it is a technical drawing in which different views of an object are projected on different reference planes observing perpendicular perpendicular to respective reference plane. The different reference planes are horizontal plane, vertical plane, side or profile plane. In short, HP, VP and PP. Different views are front view, top view and side view. The front view we are getting on VP, top view on HP and side view on PP. There are three important things to remember in orthographic projections. The first one, there are planes. The second, pattern of planes and pattern of views. The third one is method of drawing orthographic projections. The first one, planes. We have three reference planes, VP, HP and PP. You can see VP, HP and PP. And now the auxiliary planes. The auxiliary planes are auxiliary vertical plane and auxiliary inclined plane, AVP and AIP. Here auxiliary vertical plane, the plane which is inclined to VP and perpendicular to HP. The plane inclined to VP, inclined to VP and perpendicular to HP. The another one is AIP, that is auxiliary inclined plane. That auxiliary inclined plane is inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP. Now to the second, the pattern of planes and views. Here we are discussing in first angle method. I will explain what is first angle method later. Here we have VP, HP and PP. So this is XY line. This XY line is the reference line which represents HP and VP. We can say like that. So XY, la XY line is only a reference line to draw the orthographic projections. So here we have an object, this is a point on space in a quadrant, right? This is a pictorial setup of all three planes. This is the direction, this arrow direction is the normal way of observing the object. The object is here. But in this direction, we can see only VP. In this direction, we can see only VP. If we want to see the HP and PP in this position, we have to rotate HP and PP. To see HP in this direction, we have to rotate HP 90 degree downward. You can see when we are rotating HP downward, we can see this. It will be like this and to see this profile plane in this direction we have to rotate the profile plane 90 degree rightward direction we have to rotate vp in rightward direction now we can see all these three planes in this particular direction and this should be 
drawn into a plane which is in 2D. It is a paper. On a paper, we can draw like this. Here it is VP, PP and SP. In VP, we are getting the front view. In SP, we are getting the top view. And in PP, we are getting the side view. Clear? This is the reference line XY. Clear. So, the third one, method of drawing orthography projections. Here, we can see the first angle projection method and the third angle projection method. In the previous class, I have mentioned about the four quadrants, first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. Here, in this method, that means the first angle projection method, we are using the projections in first quadrant. Likewise, we are using the projections in third or third quadrant for third angle projection method. Clear? It is very easy to recognize the first angle projection method and the third angle projection method. Here we can see the XY line is here. The front view is above XY line and the top view is below XY line, which is the first angle projection method. And in the third angle projection method, the top view comes above XY line and the front view below XY line. That is the major difference we can easily identify in first angle and third angle projection method. Now, coming to the representation of first angle projection. In first angle projection, we can see object is in between observer and plane. I will explain. Here is the object. Here you can see an object. It is a rectangular prism. For front view, we are looking from here. For getting the front view, we are extending or projecting these edges onto VP first, second, third and the fourth edge. We are extending or projecting these edges onto VP and we are getting 1, 2, 3 and 4 points on VP and we are connecting those 4 points to get the front view. So, front view on VP. For getting top view, we are looking from the top. We are standing here. We are just Posting our eyes on the top and we are looking downwards and we are extending these four edges 1, 2, 3 and last one 4. We are projecting that edges onto HP. 1, 2, 3, 4 points we are getting and we are connecting those points to get the top. For side view we are looking from here and we are getting the side view like this. On PP, we are getting the side view. And we are drawing front view above XY line, top view below XY line. And here you can see LSV, left side view, left side view on the right side of front view, left side view on the right side of the front view, exact right side, exact below. Clear? But in third angle projection, the planes being transparent and the planes placed in between the observer and object. Here in first angle projection method, we have placed the object in between the observer and the plane. But in third angle projection, we are fixing the plane in between the observer and the object. Fixing the plane in between the observer and the object and considering this plane is transparent and we are projecting likewise in first angle projection method to get a, to get top view we are projecting the edges to HP for front view to VP for side view to VP 
in india we are following the first angle projection method only so here you can see the third angle projection method but we are not considering that much because we are using in india the first angle projection method only here is an example to how to draw the orthographic projection this is a pictorial representation of a machine part okay for front view we are looking from here for front view we have to look from here when we are looking from here we can see a plane and not completely but an L shape here one plane is here and another plane we can see the second one first second two planes we can see from this direction when we are looking from this direction we can see this first plane the second plane and now we are projecting the edges how many edges are there here one edge here we have to say one edge here there is an edge here 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 and here lastly here and here we can see edges all these edges we are projecting all these edges we are projecting to get the front view and we are getting the front view you can see one two this is two and this is one clear so we have got front view on the vertical plane and now for the top view we are looking from the top we are looking from the top from the top when we are looking we can see one two three three planes we can see an l shape and two square shaped planes we can see from the top and we are drawing and we are extending the edges and we are getting the top view here now for the side view we are getting one two three planes and we have to project it into the profile plane and we are getting the side view now we have got the we have understood how to get the side view top view and the front view now we are going to draw the orthographic projections for orthographic projections we have to draw the front view and the top view exactly below the front view the top view exactly below the top view because we are using the first angle projection the top view here and the side view exactly on the right side of the front view because we are drawing the left side view the left side view in first angle projection we have to draw it on the exact right side of the exact right side of the front view clear this is the method of drawing orthographic projections okay so this is summary of this session we know what is orthographic projections and we know reference and auxiliary planes and we know what are the three basic views and the systems of projection and how to draw the projections thank you